Double Masters 2022, card number 122, Rift Bolt. This card's market value is $0.16, with the foil being $018. This card is printed in six sets, including this one, and is playable in Modern, Legacy, Vintage, Commander, and Pauper. It has a massive amount of rulings against it from Wizards of the Coast. 1. Suspend is a keyword that represents three abilities. The first is a static ability that allows you to exile the card from your hand when you specified number of time counters, the number before the dash, on it by paying the suspend cost listed after the dash. The second is a triggered ability that removes a time counter from the suspended card at the beginning of each of your upkeeps. The third is a triggered ability that causes you to cast the card when the last time counter is removed. If you cast a creature spell this way, it gains haste until you lose control of that creature, or in rare cases, you lose control of the creature spell while it's on the stack. 2. You can exile a card in your hand using Suspend any time you could cast the card. Consider its card type, any effects that modify when you could cast it, such as Flash, and any other effects that stop you from casting it, such as the Meddling Mage's ability, to determine if and when you can do this. Whether you could actually complete all steps in casting the card is irrelevant. For example, you can exile a card with Suspend that has no mana cost or that requires a target even if no legal targets are available at the time. 3. Cards exiled with Suspend are exiled face up. 4. Exile a card with Suspend isn't casting that card. This action doesn't use the stack and can't be responded to. 6. If the spell requires any targets, those targets are chosen when the spell is finally cast, not when it is exile. 7. If an effect refers to the suspend card, that means that the card 1. It has suspend, 2. Is in exile, and 3. Has more than 1 time counters on it. 8. If the first triggered ability of suspend, the one that removes counters, is counted, no time counter is removed. The ability will trigger again at the beginning of the card's next upkeep. 9. When the last time counter is removed, the second triggered ability of Suspend, the one that lets you cast the card, triggers. It doesn't matter why the last time counter was removed or what effect removed it. 10. If the second triggered ability is counted, the card can't be cast. It remains exiled with no time counters on it and is no longer suspended. 11. As the second triggered ability resolves, you must cast that card if able. You must do so even if it requires targets, and the only legal targets are ones that you really don't want to target. Timing permissions on the card's type are ignored. 12. If you can't cast the card, perhaps because there are no legal targets available, it remains exiled with no time counters on it, and is no longer suspended. 13. If you cast the card without paying its mana cost, such as with suspend, you can't choose to cast it for any alternative cost. You can, however, pay additional costs. If the card has any mandatory additional costs, you must pay those if you want to cast the card. 14. You are never forced to activate mana abilities to pay costs. So if there is a mandatory additional mana cost, such as from Thalia, Guardian of Thruban, you can decline to activate mana abilities to pay for it, and hence fail to cast the suspended card, leaving it in exile. 15. If the card has X in its mana cost, you must choose zero of the value of X when casting it without paying its mana cost. 16. The mana value of the spell cost without paying its mana cost is determined by its mana cost, even though the cost wasn't paid. To cast this spell will cost you 1 red, 2 general mana. It's a sorcery and a common card, with the ability. Rift Bolt deals 3 damage to any target. Suspend 1, 1 red mana. Rather than cast this card from your hand, you may pay 1 red mana and exile it with the time counter on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter. When the last is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost. This card is currently played in less than 1% of the decks listed on EDH Rack. If you like this kind of deep dive on details of cards, then please subscribe and check out the playlists for more.